<laughs> Look, all right. Say I stop working, bro. I've been working. I dropped this shit. Dropped this shit. Steady dropping shit, bro. Get on people's radar. Why somebody called me last Wednesday like, Looch, bro, uh, you on our radar, bro. Uh, we got this West Coast Ice Cube tour. Are you allowed? Can you make it to Kentucky in, 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 in one night? You know what I mean? We're going to send you money, everything. We want you to open up. It's Bone Thugs, uh, Ice Cube, and Cypress Hill. You know what I'm saying? 8,000 people arena. Wow. That's love. Hell yeah, I'm on my way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm an old ass rapper not finna, not trying to work, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, nah, bro, I ain't trying to do that. Why would I stop, bro? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Don't sit and wait. Um, You know me, I got to go back into uh subjects that's happening yeah, on yeah, the yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me. Talk to me. Um, that was your, uh, your names came up a few times, as you already well know. Yeah. Um, you uh, was asked a question on another show. I ain't gonna say the nigga name. <laughs> no, <laughs> mogul medium. <laughs> Let me quit. <laughs> no niggas be doing me like that. Yeah, Shout out to Vlad, yeah, nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say his name. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I guess I will. Yeah, mogul right. medium. Right, <laughs> That's my boy, Big D the mogul. Yeah. Sure. But at any rate, uh, I told him to quit messing with you over there. Y'all interview. Hey. He's intensifying interviews every day. That's my. That's my. That's, that's my guy, though. I, you know, I like him a lot I, as well, too. You know, I I I, I fuck with anybody that, that can think outside the box. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. So, like, you okay. know, it is what it is. He asked you a question about yeah. uh, would you do music with certain artists? Uh, Yellow Trap. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he said Bobby Billions, but. I know uh, your name came up on the show, yeah. and you. It was like when I talked to Rain. It was like, hey, you know, uh, you shouldn't do music with nobody. If yeah. you, you know, you're, you know, you're old rapper, you should be uh, a start seat, a label. Uh, start a label. Yeah, uh, br bridge the gaps pretty much from a different distance. You know. Let me tell you like this. Let me tell you like this. Okay, I understand you can rap and guide the kids, right? Uh, put it like this. I right? put it like this. You don't see Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan still trying to hoop. They coaches now. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. they, you're right? Mm hmm They stopped trying to hoop when they stopped producing numbers. When Jordan got 40 years old and realized, I'm not putting up these numbers like I am always hurt. It's time for me to guide these people. If your shit ain't selling no more, God, why don't you just sign some artists? You're going to be richer than you ever been. Because you know the game. You know, you know how to, you know the situation where I'm not gonna let this person file off or go to jail, get they self killed because I seen it myself. So now I'm, I'm, I'm guiding people. You yep. know what I'm saying? I, now, now, and and when he said that, it was like I feel you, you know. But I think you know you always gonna rebut some, so you probably see it. So I'm knowing how. But yep. at any rate, um, just you being in the game, how long do you plan on doing this? Uh, is there a, is there an ending point, or do you feel you even have to get out the game? You know, no. far as uh, you know, the entertainment go. No, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Quincy Jones did his music till he died. You Quincy know what Jones did. Well, I, well, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, see, that's what I'm saying. He's still going. I don't know. I just know the nigga old as hell. You know what I'm saying? He's still he's around, old, bro. He's an old ass musician. If that's what we're looking at, you know what I mean? I this mean, is one thing I don't understand. If you look at inside of our industry, I'm gonna ask all them questions. But when it comes to the age factor inside of no other in no other genre of music has an age cap on it except hip hop. Hip -hop. Why can these old rock band uh, motherfuckers keep riding around today, 90 years old, doing shows? Why can these old country music still do this? Why can the R&B people, why can Ronald Isley and them still go out here? Some of them can't even hold a tune no more. I went to one with my mama not too long ago, and it was, it was you know, but they still being able I know to you're talking about. do this. You know what I'm saying? I know you're talking so, about. Okay, I'm not saying their name. Yeah. We can't say their yeah. name. But all I'm saying <laughs> They my niggas, just, though. Why I buy that ticket? Still <laughs> able to go out here and do this, you know what I'm saying? Because they have loyal it's fans. It's a problem, exactly. So why is it a problem if I'm just forget it? I'm not trying to gain on no new fans. What if I'm just keeping my loyal fans happy? Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Forget the money. What if I'm just keeping my loyal fans happy? You know? All right, look, I just got booked uh, out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Keep in mind. If I stop working, you know, just say if I came home, I wasn't doing nothing. You know, and and, and why were everybody talking about me rapping, bro? Keep in mind, bro, I only been rapping a year since I came home. I only dropped my, uh, when I first came home, I didn't do nothing for a year. I gave my kids a straight year. You know what I'm saying? Then I said, I dropped my album April 21st of 2021. From that point, I start rapping and doing videos. Bro, I only been messing around since April. 
You know what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? And I've been doing some shit. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, um, man, I'll just, I'm just looking at it like, bro, this shit just, it just don't make no sense how someone can tell you that your time, it, it's time for you to stop, man. You know? Can't nobody you, tell you was me. about to tell me about something that happened the way you... It, oh, yeah, yeah, damn. Thank you. That's why I lost <laughs> that. Look, all right. Say I stopped working, bro. I've been working. I dropped this shit. Dropped this shit. Steady dropping shit, bro. Getting on people's radar. Why somebody called me last Wednesday like, Looch, bro, uh, you on our radar, bro. Uh, we got this West Coast Ice Cube tour. Are you a lot? Can you make it to Kentucky in, 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 in one night? You know what I mean? We're going to send you money, everything. We want you to open up. It's Bone Thugs, uh, Ice Cube. And Cypress Hill, you know what I'm saying? Eight thousand people arena. Wow, that's love. Hell yeah, I'm on my way. That's you love. know what I'm saying? But if I'm an old ass rapper, not finna, not trying to work, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say, nah, bro, I ain't trying to do that. Why would I stop, bro? So what I did was I went and did that. Bam! Look what that did. That opened up a door. I got to rock in front of seventy six hundred people. I gained new fans, and as well, they booked me for an extra four to five shows. You wow. know what I'm saying? Which I get a 25-minute set, which now I have a budget, which now when I go back out, I'm taking the artist with me. Wow. You feel That's me? Beautiful. But if I'm not out there rapping, I can't put people in position. You know what I mean? I can't start a label and push people if I don't have finances to invest inside of them. That's true. So it's the same way as that nine to five that I'm working. I'm still working a nine to five. I just switched it from working to them for working for me. But the, all the paper that I make in this, I take back and I invest right back into it. Could have been bought chains, could have been do these type of things. But no, I'm investing right back into it, investing right back into the other artists, you know what I mean? Because I have a vision, you know? And it's a lot of people out there. I'm not, and I got a team. I'm not just alone. Like my bro Stack Mo with me right now, my brother Jap, you know, Doski. Like we working and, and, and we invest into these artists, bro, you know what I mean? With nothing to look back except for helping the city get on. But if I'm not in the field with them, how can I help them? You know what I mean? They ain't trying to follow. Yeah, they ain't trying to listen to old ass niggas that ain't out here trying to help with them. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.